Hello YouTube, Khalido here, back with another video. So, I wanted to discuss something that it concerns music producers, beat makers, people that upload instrumentals and beat stars, people that upload instrumentals on YouTube. When you try to make a living at music, the more simple, simple way is to upload your music somewhere, let's say YouTube, then you think, how I'm gonna sell this beat? Am I gonna say it, sell it with PayPal? Maybe you're 15 years old and you do have PayPal. So you're thinking, how I'm gonna do it? Am I I'm gonna do it local, locally? Yeah, you can do it locally. You can find someone in your city and he gonna send you five bucks or twenty bucks for the beat via post office or something but the most easiest way to sell beats is to have a subscription and a site like BeatStars or Airbit I prefer Air Airbit because you don't only lease people lease your beat but when someone gets your beat, let's say for free, and upload it and make a song with that beat and upload it on Spotify, iTunes, they can do that. But when they upload it on YouTube, you your beat on, through Airbit can be licensed. What that means? It means that when someone makes a video on YouTube, the copyright material be yours so let's say you 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 use loops or sounds or something and you license the beat and someone writes a song and makes a video on YouTube and gets 1 million views all that money that that video made is your, yours you can always communicate with people like I always take some people always dispute the copyright claim that they got in the video because I use the same loop as them. But you gotta understand, I didn't license, I did not license the loop. I licensed the beat. It's like saying that the cheese that the chef made owned by Hellsman. By Hellsman sold the cheese and the cheese is made by the chef because the chef cooked it. You know what I'm saying? You cannot say that I tell your video. We both we both use sounds but I, I, I did license that beat. That is tremendous. And if and and if and what if what I'm saying sounds confusing. Imagine having a business and you live of that business. And someone next door opens the same business as you. You're not gonna try and shut him down. You're gonna try and be better than him. And you're gonna try to be better by, better by selling more than him or she or he. Whatever. That's how music is. You're trying to be better than the next person so people c can buy your beats and make songs and projects with your music. I get it. I used to get copyrights on my beats and hated it. I was like, damn, I got copyrights. If I ever want to make money, I can. But I have made money by copyrighting the beat. I have. And I prefer copywriting a beat of mine than having it as grips and on beat stars and waiting for someone to lease that beat, to get that track out, to get that wave file, to get that MP3. It's better to have it as grips and on Airbit. Yeah, Airbit is not so popular than beats like beat beat stars. Beat star beat stars used to have the option to 
licensed beats and have have it copyrighted on YouTube. But I think many people, many rappers or something, they were making a song, they still do, and they will copyright, copyright the song, not the beat. So it's better as a producer to copyright your music because if you don't, then the the rapper or the musician can copyright your music and then you're gonna say, oh, I sold the, I sold that beat, I, the, that person leased the beat for 20 bucks but his video has like 500,000 views, how much money did he make? That's, that's was my video. I hope I made a point, right? So it's either YouTube revenue versus leasing beats. I prefer YouTube revenue. I'm gonna leave my info, airbit and stuff and the description for you to check it out. I don't know if Airbit has a referral link, I'm not sure. And and if you if you're a producer, make sure to distribute your music on DistroKid. I'm gonna leave a link. You put your beats on Spotify iTunes. I have make money. I make money from that too. Bye.